Welcome, we are back once again, and unfortunately we are here at the start of the postseason. Uh, Yukatawara Rockies did not finish the season well. Uh, we will take a quick look at the standings before we take a look at anything else. We finished the season 72-90. and 90. Uh, The Dodgers finished 106-56. and 56. The Padres won the wild card at 99 and 63. Giants finished at 82 and 80. The Diamondbacks finished at 66 and 96. The Cubs won the National League Central at 95 and 67. The Brewers won the other wild card spot at 86 and 76. The Cardinals actually finished at 85 and 77, missing the playoffs. The Reds finished 73 and 89, and then the Pirates finished at 60 and 102. And they finished in last place. The Mets won the uh, National League East with a 95 and 67 record. It wasn't even close. The Braves finished 82 and 80. Marlins were 77 and 85. The Nationals were 76 and 86. And the Phillies were 75 and 87. Mets won these. Mets were 13 games over the Braves. It, it, it just doesn't get any, any crazier than that. As for the wild card, the Padres and the Brewers won. The Cardinals did have a shot at making the wild card, but they fell one game back. The Braves were four games back. The Giants were four games back. We finished at 14 games behind, so unfortunately for us, we had no shot at making it. The American League East, the Red Sox finished 103-59. and They won the East. The Yankees got the wild, got a wild card spot in the American League. They finished 88-74. and they finished 15 games behind the Red Sox. The Blue Jays finished 80 and 82, 23 games back. Uh, the Orioles finished 75 and 87, 28 games back, and the Rays finished 67 and 95, 30 games back. The American League Central, the Twins ended up winning division with 98 wins and 64 losses. The White Sox ended up 91 and 71, winning the other wild card. The Royals finished nine, uh, 70 and 92. The Indians finished 70 and 92. And the Tigers finished 58 and 104. The Astros ended up winning the American League West with a record of 88 and 74. They finished two games ahead of the Mariners and finished at 86 and 76. The Angels were 76 and 86. The Athletics were 76 and 86, and the Texas Rangers finished 75 and 87. The wild card was, like I said, the White Sox and the Yankees. The Mariners did finish two games behind the Yankees. Uh, the Blue Jays were eight games back, so really it was just the Mariners that were making a push. Everybody else kind of just, well, kind of just floated through the season. So, yeah, so it's going to be the Yankees and the White Sox and the American League wild card. The National League is going to be Milwaukee and San Diego. The Dodgers have, will, will host the National League wild card. Boston will host the American League. Minnesota and Houston will play in one AL, in the other ALDS, and the Mets and the Cubs will play in the other. We're going to take a quick peek at the standings. Or statistics, stats for the players. Um, we're going to highlight the probably the top five or ten in average. Top five, the number one in average was Christian Arroyo. We made a late game, we made a late season trade for him. He ended up playing 31 games for us, ended up finishing with a 333 average. Michael Brantley, who was another uh, season pickup for us. He ended up playing in 154 games, ended up with a 313 average. We actually had four guys who hit 300 or above. Uh, we had a backup catcher, 
who actually only appeared in 10 games, but he hit for 300. Mikel Franco ends up also hitting for 300. Charlie Blackman falls down, falls off to 296. That was actually, let me see, it was actually better than what he hit last year. He hit 281 last year, so his average actually went up by 15. So that's not too bad. Josh Fuentes hit 292. Glaber Torres hit 289. And Maurice McGuire, who who was a late season late season pickup, hit 257. Sam Hilliard hit 248. CJ Crone hit 247. And then Garrett Hampson hit uh, 244. And that was pretty much it for anybody that we have left on here that hit for us. That was actually very sad. Stephen Matz and Kyle Freeland led the led the team. Led the team in victories this year. Match went 12 and 12. Freeland went 12 and 7. Herman Marquez, our uh, our ace, unfortunately, only went 9 and 10. Only went 9 and 10. Uh, Matt Shoemaker went 7 and 5. He did do some spots starting out of the bullpen and some starting for us. Overall, uh, Merrill Kelly went 5 and 14. To say that it was a bad season for Kelly would be an understatement. That looks like a trade that looks like a deal that we should have. I don't know. Uh, Kelly is going to be somebody that, honestly, we're going to have to retool our starting pitching. Uh, Miro Kelly will will probably be looking to shop Merrill Kelly even though he's still in the contract Marquez I don't know because we do have one more year left with him he's really good but it's just the fact that we can't we can't seem to put enough we can't seem to be able to put enough put up enough runs to get get his record because he has a 133 whip is a one three three whip, and I mean, for the starting pitchers, that's a pretty damn high whip. That's a pretty good whip. I mean, you know, you got Stephen Match is at one nineteen. You got Muriel Kelly's at one twenty. Kyle Freeland's at one thirty, and then Marquez is at one thirty three. So out of all of our starting pitchers, only Freeland, who had twelve wins. Kelly, who only had five, and then Matt, who also had 12 wins, has a better whip than Marquez. So, I don't know. We're going to have to look at what we're going to do with the uh, with this next year, with this on the off season because we've got to do something. Uh... Richard Rodriguez ended up with a save this year. Uh, Eliezer Hernandez ended up with one save. And then Scott Ulbrig ended up with 47. He ended up 2-3 and three with 47 saves, uh, 3-12 ERA. In all honesty, he's my closer. Re- regardless of if he's called a closer or not, he is my closer. He is the one that I go to when I want to shut this game down. Um, not Richard Rodriguez, not anybody like that. It's it's him, and that's it. We're going to take a quick look at the awards winners. Um, MVP in the National League went to Nicholas Castellanos. He beat out Christian Yelich and Bryce Harper. For the American League, it was J.D. Martinez. He beat out teammate Rafael Devers. And then from Familia Reyes... Cy Young went to Noah Syndergaard. He went 18 and three. He beats out Trevor Bauer and Mike Clevenger. Bauer went 16 and five. Clevenger went 16 and eight. The American League it went to Kenta Medea. He went 18 and eight. 
He beat out a 17 and 10 Lucas Giolito and a 15 and 10 Garrett Cole. Honestly, to me, not that much of a surprise. American League batting title went to JD Martinez, who hit 327. He beat out Rangers second baseman Nick Solak and teammate Rafael Devers. The National League, the batting title went to Ronald Acuna. He hit 332, beating out Freddie Freeman, who hit 328, and Christian Yelich, who hit 324. The reliever of the year for the National League was Giovanni Gallardos. He had 51 saves, a 181 ERA, and 51 strikeouts. Drew Pomerantz finished second, 39 saves, a 1 ERA, and 66 strikeouts. Josh Hader ended up third. He ended up with the most saves, it looks like, for the National League at 55. He had a 269 ERA and 79 strikeouts. The American League, Jose Leclerc won it for the Rangers. He had 40 saves, a 140 ERA, and 43 strikeouts. He beat out Matt Barnes, who had 51 saves, 196 ERA, and 73 strikeouts. And John Curtis, who had 47 saves, a 221 ERA, and 29 strikeouts. Rookie of the year for the National League went to Will Will Wilson from the San Francisco Giants. He beat out O'Neill Cruz and Nick Matten. In the American League, it went to Spencer Torkelson. He beat out Chad De La Guerrera and Tyler Freeman. Hank Aaron Award for the National League went to Christian Yelich. He beat out Ronald Acuna and Freddie Freeman. The American League went to J.D. Martinez. He beat out Rafael Devers and Yandor Alvarez. Gold Glove for pitchers. National League went to Tyler Hendricks. We're going to run through the Gold Gloves here for just the National League, and then we'll go back to the American League. For the catchers, it was Wilson Ramos. Freddie Freeman won it for the first baseman. Adam Fraser won it for second. He actually won his he actually won back to back as he won last year. Uh Kebron Hayes won it for third. Paul DeYoung won it for the shortstops. He actually has one back to back. Just like with, um, who was it? Oh, yeah, Adam Frazier. Um, left field, it was Tyler O'Neill. Right f- center field, we actually got one. I can't actually believe, I can't actually say, I can't actually believe it. Rommel Tapio won the, uh, won the gold glove in center. He had a perfect fielding percentage. I'm I'm shocked. I really am. Uh, Mike Yastrzemski won it uh, for the right fielders. <clears throat> he broke Mookie Betts' two-year streak of winning a gold glove. Uh, all right, so... Gold Gloves for the American League. Jamie Barrea won it. Won it. Uh, the catcher for the American League Gold Glove was Yasmani Grandal. First baseman, Seth Brown. Second base was David Fletcher. Third base was Sheldon New- uh, Newis. Uh, shortstop was Anderson Simmel, uh, Anderton Simmons. He beat out Alberto Mondesi, who was trying to win his second. Who was trying to win back to back? Left field went to uh, Stanton. Uh, center went to Byron Buxton, and right field went to Joey Gallo. So, 
Silver Sluggers for the American League, the DH, it went to Fabio Reyes. Catchers, Yasmani Grandal, he won back to back now. Uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. won it for first baseman. J DJ LeMayhew won it for the second baseman. Rafael Devers won it for third. Corey Seager won it for short. Uh, JD Martinez, Jan Jordan Alonso, and Gracio Stanton won it for the outfield. We will move on to the National League. Now, as Will Smith won the uh, Silver Slugger for the catchers in the National League. First baseman, it went to Freddie Freeman. Second, it went to Brandon Lowe. Third, went to Chris Bryant. Shortstop went to Fernando Tatis Jr. Outfield, one spot went to Nicholas Castellanos. Bryce Harper got the other one. And Ronald Acuna got the third. And he, he won back-to-back -back Silver Sluggers as he won last year. Uh, as it stands right now, the postseason is just getting started, so of course, no MVP, no World Series MVP. <sighs> so, we've got the start of the postseason coming, and you will see that here shortly as we get ready to kick off the postseason run and see, see what happens. And you will see that here. For MLB The Show 21 with the Colorado Rockies franchise. Alright, welcome. We are back. And it's time for the National League Wild Card game between Milwaukee and San Diego. The American League Wild Card game will be up on the next day. And that will be Chicago and New York. The first game up is going to be Brandon Woodruff versus Blake Snail. The next game up, it will be Garrett Cole versus Lucas Giolito. Both wild card spots have now officially been filled as Milwaukee beats San Diego and the Yankees beat the White Sox. Milwaukee won the game 7 to 3. Woodruff got the win, Snell got the loss. And for the Yankees, they won 5-4. to four. Garrett Cole got the win. Giolito got the loss. And Chad Green ended up picking up the save. We will start the postseason run for the National League first, as it will be Chicago versus the Mets, and then the Brewers versus L.A. The American League will then start the next day as we pick up games to... The next games for the wild card or for the division series. So we are now up to October 16th. It is the Yankees and the Astros both have a 2 0 series lead in the American League. The Mets are up two games to none on the Cubs, and Milwaukee and the Dodgers are tied at one game apiece. As we keep moving forward, whoa, okay. The Mets ended up winning 3-0 over the Cubs. The Dodgers ended up winning 3-1 over Milwaukee. The American League is now tied at two games apiece as, well, now it gets interesting. Let's see what games we've got going on today. All right, so for the 20th, We've got the American League games. Games 5. So, games 5 for the American League. How do they go? Well, they're over now. Uh, we will now move on to the ALCS as Minnesota wins and Boston wins. Boston keeps the Yankees from the ALCS and Minnesota takes down Houston 
and a little bit of a surprise. So it will be games one in the American League and National League. I believe this will be the, yes, the National League will get things started. Then the American League will kick it off with the National League playing games two. So the Dodgers and the Mets here in game one. Game one goes to the Dodgers. Game two goes to the Dodgers while Minnesota wins game, or Boston, I'm sorry, wins game one against Minnesota. We have game two, Minnesota and Boston coming up as, as the series is now even. And we will now turn our attention to game three between the Dodgers and New York. As the Dodgers are now one game away from going to the World Series. They will look to close it out today as May takes them out against uh, Strowman. Chris Sale and Jose Barrios will take them out in the American League game. And somebody will take the lead for game three. While the Dodgers possibly could walk away and walk into the World Series. The Mets stave off elimination, picking up the victory. Minnesota picks up the win against Boston, and it's 2-1. to one. <clears throat> The Dodgers will again be looking to uh, wrap, up, wrap up the National League Cent, the NLCS, while, while Minnesota... We'll be looking to go up 3-1, and Boston will be looking to tie it at two games apiece. The Dodgers get in. They win four games to one. Minnesota takes a 3-1 lead against Boston. And we could very well see the end here as Minnesota will play game five here at home against Boston. If they win... They're in the World Series against the Dodgers. If they lose, then we will see a Game 6. And they did win four games to one. Setting up the World Series matchup between the Dodgers and the Twins. And that will start on November 2nd. That will start November. That will start November second. So we're on to the World Series. Game one, November second. Jose Barrios versus Trevor Bauer. Game one goes to the Dodgers, ten seven. Game two, it will be Kenta Medea versus. Okay, Trevor Bauer again. What the hell? No, maybe not. Let me see. Okay, it'll be Walker Bueller. Game two will be Medea versus Bueller. And the Dodgers win two to one. And they take a 2 0 lead in the series. Uh, game three will be on the fifth. It will be. Julio Juarez versus Michael Padilla. And Dodgers win three games to none. As Juarez gets the win, Padilla takes the loss, and Jansen gets a save. So Minnesota is down three games to none to the Dodgers. And they could be shut out right here on the sixth. As it would be Derek May versus, I don't know how to pronounce this kid's name. Uh, <clears throat> let's, well, let's see what happens. Let's see if the Dodgers keep the, if the Dodgers kill it. And they do indeed. The Dodgers have won the 2022 World Series. They defeated Minnesota 9-8. Clayton Kershaw actually came in and got the win. 
Kenley Jansen got the save. I want to take a quick look at this box score. Oh, wow. Minnesota actually put up a run in the bottom of the eighth. They had they had a 6 to nothing lead against the Dodgers going into the third. The Dodgers scored three in the third, three in the fifth, and tied it at six. Both, run, both teams scored a run in the sixth. The Dodgers scored two in the seventh, and then <clears throat> Minnesota got their run in the ninth, but it wasn't enough as the Dodgers slammed the door. Uh, May only lasted an inning and a third as he gave up to six runs off of one walk and one K. Kershaw came in, pitched four and a third innings, gave up one run off of four hits and struck out three. It, it was just crazy. Uh, Minnesota starter gave up six runs off of five hits and five innings. Walked three, struck out three. Uh, Thorpe ended up getting credited with the loss. He went an inning and a third. Gave up three runs off of three hits. Walked one, struck out one. And the L.A. Dodgers did it again. They win the series. Four games to none. <clears throat> the World Series MVP was Will Smith. The postseason MVP for the National League was Cody Bellinger. Miguel Sano won it for the American League. But once again... Oh, okay. Move on. So... The Dodgers have won now two out of three World Series. The Mets won last year, and, well, they won the MVP last year. I think they won the series last year, if I'm not mistaken. But the Dodgers win the World Series, and they won four games to none. Uh, the offseason will be coming and we will be looking to make some change, looking to make some moves here as we get ready to move on to year number three. And pray to God that, uh, pray to God that um, I can finish better. I mean, I finished better this year than I did last year. I went. I only I increased my wins by nine. I increased my wins by nine, but it still wasn't enough to win. It still wasn't enough, so I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be interesting. Uh, but that's going to be it for this this episode. We will move on to the postseason. And we will have coverage of the po oh, oh, postseason. Sorry. We have coverage of the offseason. We'll see what happens as we get ready to build up for season three. As we get ready to build up for season three. And we look to see... What other teams will do. Um, and so until then, we will see you with the next episodes here for MLB The Show 21 with the Catamaran Rockies.